Hello, my name is Reed, and today we're doing October Day 5. So I'm actually very sick, I don't know if you can hear my voice, but... So, I might have to end up stopping the audio for this halfway through and just giving you guys music, but I'm going to try and make it through. I've made this video quite short, um, I sped it up a little bit more fast than I normally would, but you know. So you can I said I'm doing it because I'm starting off very, very light, but this is pretty much the last one that isn't quite my current style after this you can see my styles kind of start to develop more as i draw more of the things i normally would mainly being girls uh, because men are very hard to draw they're just very liney and i don't know i like drawing kind of fantasy style girls so yeah sorry um, i actually just put in the base layer for the pump jack-o-lanterns also my black ink had completely dried up so i had to add more black ink because i forgot to cover it because i'm a dumbass so I'm colouring in the cat, you'll see, is I can't, like the lines I can see because they're very light. But I'm filming on my phone and my camera isn't like great, so you guys can't see them. So it looks like I am a bloody art wizard and I can just make up art as I go along. Whereas there is probably about like four hours of sketching going into each of these pieces. But it looks like I'm a bloody wizard and I can just art out of thin air, but... I'm going to be honest, I can't, I am terrible at doodling, I can't, I just know, I need to plan everything I draw like for four hours in advance, so yeah, <coughs> here I was filling in the cat more because it was kind of patchy, when I shine it up to the light you can see some areas are doing the cool shiny thing and some areas weren't, so, again using my heat gun, also known as an embossing gun, I don't know, it was labelled heat gun when I bought it, but I know it can also be used for embossing, if you, I don't know, curious. Here I'm adding some of the lines, pumpkin lines, like, you know how they've got those divots, whatever, like, those. They go in and out and kind of like a wavy thing, and I'm adding in the darker shadow and building it up. Well, the darker shadow and the lightest tone that I have, and then building up the dark. So here I'm doing all the cameras being weird and going in and out of focus again, but... Yeah, just adding in, slowly getting darker with those lines. Yeah, and trying to go around the face, but then I'm like, actually, I'm doing the face in pure black ink, so it doesn't really matter. Here I am adding in the first face. So this one probably turned out the best, to be honest. The other two are a bit... I messed them up a bit, because I wasn't having a very good art day yesterday. I was kind of low and kind of stressed and yeah, but I got it, I did it, I finished the Inktober, I filmed it, and it was all good. Kind of glad I pushed through because I actually quite like this one, I think it's very cute. It could do with being a little bit darker, but I'm just, I'm very done at the moment, so yeah. So this one, I realised it kind of ended up looking like um the Boogeyman's Smile. Probably because I did that later on and then I was like thinking, like I did that before I inked this one. That's why I saw the same line shape. Also, sorry, I there is my shadow over it. I filmed this one later at night because I kind of procrastinated all day because I really just didn't want to do it. But I did and I'm proud of myself because I managed to do it. Here I'm adding in the second face. This one didn't turn out quite as well. As you can see, I already effed up the eye, but... I try to fix that, but they look very close together, and then I kind of mess up the smile. So basically I started on one side and it was going really well, just filling in all those little stringy tendon bits or whatever, like the pumpkin does, because it looks like slobber shings and it looks really creepy. So that side went well, also sorry about the shadows. And then the other side, I started going up way too high, as you can see, I'm like up really, really high. So I'm like, I know, I'll just turn that side into a frown, so it looks like it's kind of unhappy that there's a cat sitting on it. Because that looks like it's been planned, right? Yeah, so, you know, just rolling with the mistakes. So, I mean, again, this piece was very, it was kind of a pain for me, as I said, because I was not feeling very good and I was pushing through but I'm, I'm still glad I finished it alright so this pumpkin <laughs> all the individual bits look cool 
but the eyes are too close to the mouth and it kind of looks like it's been squashed you guys will see this in a minute but yeah you know he's filling it in with the pure black indian ink that i showed in the first video i'm using all the same supplies i did in the first video if i use anything else other than what i already said i will add it in the beginning of the video but you know what i was doing there probably just procrastinating <laughs> Okay, I'm filling in the smile. As you can see, it's very, very close to the eyes. But it is very satisfying to watch me adding in this mouth. Because this part, I did wing. I just kind of added in little stringy bits and added in the teeth as I felt like it. Because I couldn't see the underneath lines at all. So, that was cool. I quite enjoyed doing that. It, I did have to go over some of the bits every, again because the ink just didn't go as dark yeah so here I was finishing off the smile and this one's pretty even actually which is good yeah see the eyes are very low down but yeah, I think it still looks cool it just looks very low down like it's got a massive forehead but whatever it's done and I'm glad I finished it but yeah I had the end a little knobby bit and I realized well, even when I was drawing, I was like, it's going to look like the cat has a knobby bit up its ass, but I'm just going to pretend that that knobby bit fell off and, like, the cat's sitting on a flat surface because otherwise <laughs> it just wouldn't look as good because I'd have to make two pumpkins the same height and it would ruin the... Oh, how what's it called? Like, where you place things and how they look good. And yeah. I have no recollection of what that's called, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. Adding in the darker lines to the rest of the pumpkins. And I'm off camera again. But only by a little bit this time. I swear I'm getting better. There we go, I fixed it a bit. But yeah, I, I just need to remember to keep checking. But and here I am starting to add in the shadows because I realised if the moon's coming from kind of above, most of the shadow, or most of the pumpkin would be in shadows. So that's what I was doing, but it's a very similar tone, so I, I think I'll go in and darker, darken it later. But I'm just making these little kind of half circle shapes, and or negative half circle shapes on top of each pumpkin thingy, like where the lines are, so it looks 3D. And then this one, I figured the cat's sitting on it, so the whole thing is just going to be in shadow. There wouldn't be any light. So here I'm starting out the bit at the bottom that's still in shadow. And yeah, just adding in more shadows, making it darker, making it look slightly more three-dimensional, procrastinating. Yeah, at this one I realised it was just too light, you couldn't see it at all. So I went over that again, and he's doing the whole pumpkin dark for, for that back one, because again, the cat's sitting on it, so you wouldn't get that light, although the cat will probably be casting a shadow, I'm thinking about that now, but oh well, it's done, I'm not going back I mean it just has to be something for next time you know learning from the mistakes so here I am just adding sh lots of shadows to the bottom pumpkin to make it look very 3d and my shadow is pretty much covering the entire drawing at this point sorry I filmed this one very late I think it was like eight o'clock at this point probably later but yeah I was using the heat gun to try and get it. Also, the, the page does curl up a little bit. It's not so much the water, it's more kind of the heat gun and the water together because it curls up towards the heat gun. But it's an easy way to fix that is you just kind of dampen the back, then use the heat gun to kind of iron it. I need to get around to doing that, but I just I forget every time. So here I am standing on the moon. A June platoon upon the moon. Sorry, not the hero reference. I'm a nerd. So I'm just adding in the base colour for the moon and after that I go in and add the splodgy crotery bits. Are they cool? Yeah, craters. See, I'm doing that with the tissue. I've just kind of pinched it up and turned it into a splodgy little weird thing. Yeah. And then here I am using a white... You can't, can't really see it on camera, but... I'm setting in some white lines because the moon often has these little white lines. Adding in some highlights because everything will be in the light. Because, you know, moon reflects the sun's light, so there is light coming off of it. 
and using a black pencil just to kind of go over everything make it a little more clean adding in the knobby stalky bits details I can't remember what they're called like the lines that I would make and that wraps up the end of Inktober day 5 so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one this one was a bit short but as I said having a rough day and I'm really excited for the next ones because they're getting more and more like my current style which I'm really happy about anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to take your paintbrushes out of the water and I hope to see you guys tomorrow read out